Fast Car by Tracy Chapman, a song about fast cars. I don't think that's what it's about. I think it's about something less exciting and fun than fast cars. Guys, I'm recording multiple tutorials today, and they all have the most depressing lyrics. But the joke's on you, because I love being sad. Being sad is the best. Being anxious, being um, scared, well, I like being scared too. I like being scared, I like being sad. Those are the two I like. Okay, great. Standard tuning, but you need a capo on the second fret, guys. It's the most of the song is this one riff. We're gonna learn the riff. We're gonna learn the little fill she does. We're gonna learn some of the variations when she does it live and stuff. And we're gonna learn the chorus, and it's gonna be a piece of pie. But starting with just the main riff, pointer finger, first fret, second string from the bottom, middle finger, second fret, third string from the top ring finger, third fret, second string from the bottom. Guys, this is a classic C chord. I like to mute the top string with my thumb. It's not necessary, but it makes me feel a little bit better. What you're gonna do, no pick for this song. It's all finger picking. Guys, you're gonna have your thumb play the second string from the top. Your pointer finger is gonna play third string from the bottom. Middle finger is gonna play second string from the bottom. So I'm grabbing onto those three strings, guys. First thing you're gonna do is you're actually gonna get rid of your pointer finger over here, and you're gonna pinch those three strings together like this. Immediately after that, you're gonna hammer on to the second fret, guys. So it goes like that. Let's practice it. Let's just go on, bona, two, three, four, bona, two, three, four, bona. Okay, I feel like my vibe does not match the vibe of this song. Guys, you do that hammer on. Then get your pointer finger out of there and play just those two strings with your fingers. So it's hammer fingers. Three, four, hammer fingers. Okay, hammer fingers. What happens next? Then, oh, of course, duh, what was I thinking? How could I have forgotten? Guys, you're gonna switch to a G chord. Get rid of all those fingers, you're done with them. Put your middle finger on the third fret of the top string. Put your ring finger on the third fret of the second string from the bottom. This is a G chord, but it's just like a partial G chord. We don't need the full G chord. So I'm just doing these two fingers. What you're gonna do is your thumb is gonna play the top string and your pointer finger and middle finger are gonna play those same two strings they did before. Pinch all those together. All right, all right. So we've got karate chop and hammer fingers pinch. Okay, and ba -da -ba -ba. how's it going? It going great, guys. My name's Stuart. Welcome to the channel. Um, look, I'll tell you what. If you subscribe to my channel, what I will do in return is I will teach you the rest of Fast Car by Tracy Chapman on the guitar. Deal? Great. Okay, but wait. The deal's not over. Go to marinmusic.com. Sign up for my mailing list. I will send you so many fun informations, including what tutorials are coming out in the future. And guys, I gotta say, I got some good ones coming out. You're not gonna wanna miss it, but you won't miss it, even if you, this is too long. I've barely even started the song. I'm talking about myself too much. This is what I talked about with my therapist. I don't have a therapist. I should, honestly, what is happening? Guys, I think I am getting way better at self-promotion. What do you think? So we just got to the G chord. We pinched those three strings together. Then you're just gonna play the second to bottom string by itself. Then play just the third string from the bottom by itself. So now we've got hammer and G, bing bong. One, two, karate chop, here we go. Great. At this point in time, what you're gonna do is you're gonna get rid of your middle finger, make sure your ring finger keeps pushing on that second to bottom string and slide it up to the eighth fret. So that third fret note is still lingering in the air and we hear it slide up to eight a little bit. Now here's a little tip, guys. When you're sliding big distances like this, don't watch your finger as you slide. Just stare at where you wanna end up and then bring your finger right into your line of sight, guys. Also at this point, you want your pointer finger to go to seven on the second string from the top. You're going to pinch those two together as soon as you get to those notes. So that means that you went like this. You went ba -da -da -ba -ba -da -ba. two, three, four. Two 
oh, wait, okay. So wait, 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 wait. Don't just pinch those two strings together. Also play the third string from the bottom. So we've got thumb on the second from the top, pointer finger third from the bottom, middle finger second from the bottom. Pinch all three of those together as soon as you get up to seven and eight. Now I know what you might be thinking, you're on, wait a minute, this is your 12th fret, because I can see those very bold, weird double dots you have there. Yeah, but remember the capo, so it's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, seven and eight. Even though it's like nine and 10 of the guitar, it's seven and eight from the capo. I can't, I, I just made things so much worse by trying to explain that. Guys, you pinch all three of those together, then what you're gonna do, is you're gonna chill out for a second, we're not in any hurry, but you're gonna move your ring finger to seven on the second string from the bottom and put your pointer finger on five of the second string from the top, then pinch the same three strings together, and then you're gonna play second string from the bottom by itself, and then third from the bottom by itself. So that was. Guys, we have just completed the main riff to Fast Car by Tracy Chapman. Let's play it extremely slowly together. One, two, three, four. you do guys did you do the best that you've ever done at anything in your entire lives glad to hear it so guys for the introduction we do that riff exactly those times in a row that's spanish for two i'm surprised you didn't know that then we do this little fill it only happens one time in the song it's not entirely true later on the a second guitar plays this fill but we're not going to worry about that so you play that riff twice and then here's the little fill i'm talking about you start off exactly the same you go but then you go up to here and we're gonna go like this. So here's what that was. We went up to seven and eight, just like before. You pinch all three of those strings together, but then with your pinky, reach up to, well, crap. It's the 10th fret, but I know it looks like 12. And you play just that second to bottom string as you're stretched up to 10. Then go right back to eight, then, you're gonna go to five and seven like we did before. Pinch all three of those together. Then with your pinky, play eight on the second string from the bottom, and then go back to seven on the second string from the bottom. So that was. It's like this triplet type rhythm. I th and they're like basically triplets. We're going like triple it, triple it. I think they're not quite triplets. If we want to split hairs, it doesn't matter. I'm in a bad mood. We do the regular riff twice. Then we do that special riff with a little triplet fill once. Then we play the regular riff one more time. And that's the intro. Let's play the whole intro all the way through. One, two, fast car again here we go Guys, that was the introduction. You did a great job. Are you ready for the first verse? Here's what you do for the first verse, guys. You just play that main riff without the little triplet fill thing. You just play the main riff four times, and that's the first verse. Guys, that's actually not entirely true. After you play it four times, you play it another two times without any singing. So it's four times with singing, two times without singing. That's the first verse. What about the second verse? Well, you do it four times with singing, two times without singing. What about the third verse, you're asking? Good question. You do that riff four times with singing, then two times without singing. Now, I know what you're thinking. Yeah, but what about the fourth verse? Well, fourth verse is different. You do it two times with singing, and then two times without singing. I just fell asleep while I was talking. That brings us to the chorus, or the chorus of the song. Um, except before we do that, I wanna show you two of the variations that Tracy Chapman does quite regularly in the song. So one, 
When she plays it live, she regularly goes like this. Did you spot what I did? I added in the open A string at one point. I did the, the C chord the same. All of that was the same, but right after I went like this, I went pinch, bang, bong. Then immediately after that, my thumb played the second string from the top open. Then I slid up to eight and did our seven, eight. That thing, so check it out, check, watch, watch. I made kind of a big deal out of it and went and it sounded bad, but if I play it normally, it sounds like this. So anyway, I don't think that's in the studio recording much, if at all, but when she plays it live, I think that's what it sounds like she does most of the time. Let's go ahead and practice that dose times in a row. One, two, three, four. Uh. One more. Great job. Now, the other little variation I want to show you, this happens in the studio recording, the regular album version of the song, quite often. Is, is it often or often? Both are acceptable, right? Asking for a friend. Asking for my best friend, who is my wife. She says often, I say often. It goes like this. <laughs> Did you spot what I did, guys? I, when I went up to seven and eight, I pinched all three of those together, and then I just played the second string from the bottom by itself before I switched to five and seven. So I went ba da dum ba da dum ba 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 Let's try that dos times in a row. Spanish for two, surprised you didn't know that, especially because we already discussed it in this video. One, two, three, four. I think you're doing great. So, as we discussed, the intros, you do the regular riff twice, and the fill riff once, and the regular riff one more time. Then we do the first verse, second verse, third verse, fourth verse, all the way through without any choruses. Then finally we get to the chorus. Chorus goes like this, you guys. It goes three, four. So you go to a C chord, looks like this. What you're gonna do is you're gonna strum down, down, then you're gonna strum up, but when you strum up, get rid of your pointer finger. So we've got down, down, up, up, and then go back down, but put your pointer finger back. So it's down, down, up, up, down. Then you switch to a G chord like this. Three, two, zero, zero, three, three. A little bit different from the G we used in the verse. You're gonna go like this, down, down. Then you strum up, but get rid of your pointer finger. Up, up. Then put your pointer finger back and go down. Guys, then we go to an E minor chord. Top string open, then second fret, second fret, open, open, open. You're gonna go down, down. Then get rid of your ring finger. Strum up, up. Then put your ring finger back and strum down. Then we go to a D chord, starting from the bottom. Middle finger on two, ring finger on three, pointer finger on two. Please mute the top string with your thumb. Your thumb just comes over the top, mutes the top string. You're gonna strum down, down. Get rid of your middle finger, strum up, up. Put your middle finger back and strum down. Guys, those first four chords, the C, the G, the E minor, and the D went like this. Three, four, down, down, up. Up, down, G, down, up, up, down, E minor, down, up, up, down, D, down, up, up, down. How'd you do? Okay. Then, second part of the chorus goes like this. Go back to the C. You're going to strum down, down, then switch to the E minor right away and strum up, up, down. 
Then we're gonna go to a D over F sharp. That's where you play the normal D chord, but your thumb comes up over the top and pushes on the second fret of the top string. You're gonna strum down, down, up, up, down. Then you do that whole thing again, back to the C, down, down, E minor, up, down, then D over F sharp, down, up, up, down. Then you're just gonna strum C, down, up on D. Guys, let's play the whole chorus. One, two, three, four. Done it, guys. I just use the tip of my pointer finger to strum when I don't have a pick. You also could grab a pick, you could use your thumb. If we're being honest, I felt like my strumming just then did not sound very good. I feel like I usually do a better job of strumming with my finger. Anyway, that was the chorus. Then we go to the interlude. You just play the regular riff, just like the intro and the verse, twice. Then we do verse five. It's the same as all the other verses. Then we go to the second chorus, which is exactly the same as the first chorus. Then there's a little interlude. You just play the riff two times. Then verse number six, exactly the same as all the other verses. Then we go to another chorus. Chorus number three is exactly, is exactly, exactly the same as the other choruses. Then there's an interlude. You just play the riff twice. Then we go to verse number seven. Verse number seven is shorter, guys. You just play the riff twice for verse number seven, okay? Then we get to the ending. The ending goes like this. You play the main riff three times. Trace, that's Spanish for three. I'm surprised you didn't know that. And then we end it by starting the riff a fourth time, but we just go like this. That was very sloppy. Let me try that one more time. Stuart, when you're editing this, make sure to edit out that mistake I made because no one can know that you've ever made a mistake ever in your life. That's how you end the song. My name is Stuart. I hope that you have a pleasant evening. I'm still here. Just holding my breath.